Hi guys and welcome back to another video here on this channel. If you're new here, my name's Shireen and I talk all things sewing and homemaking, so I would love if you joined the sewing family. I hope you're all doing really well and have had really lovely and successful sewing weeks this week. I'm actually wearing one of my me makes that I made actually quite a while ago, but it's the me address. I can't remember who by now, but I'll link it down in the description box, the name of it. Um, but it's this lovely tiered dress with a v-neck and I've made it in this viscose fabric, dark floral print, which I originally got from my fabric store locally a couple of years ago. So I don't think I'm going to be able to find this exact one. But I'll try and link something similar if you like this print. But I know I love it. It is one of those pieces that just can transition quite nicely into all weathers. I've actually layered it up with this oversized cardigan with this lovely embroidered detail and the pink flowers just go absolutely beautifully with the fabric, so loving that. Um, so exciting news, my sewing gift guides are now live on my blog, so I'll leave my blog link down below in the description box if you want to go and check those out, and you'll be sure to find the perfect sewing gift for that person in your life. I'll leave a couple up here just for an example of how they look, but I'm really happy with how they turned out and I've actually really enjoyed making them. It's my first year doing these gift guides, so yeah, it was a lot of fun to make. But without further ado, let's get on into the free winter sewing patterns for 2022. So the first free sewing pattern is this lovely, almost like a puffer style jacket without the quilting, but it just has this lovely collared detail, which I just thought was just so unique and so stylish. And also just one of those really practical jackets that you can just wear with anything. Here comes the cosy little furry friend. Oh, you want to get underneath the cardigan? Bless her, she's... Oh, that's my armpit, hun. Oh dear. Anyway, I really like the way she styled this jacket and actually was really intrigued with the fabric that I used. But I did find that the instructions for this jacket were super detailed even down to the insulation needed for this jacket and suggested sort of raincoat and lighter weight um, jacket fabrics. So this is definitely one that I want to have a little look at and give a go. Now, I myself haven't made many jackets. My first jacket was the hacked Nora cardigan, which I'll leave a picture up here of what that turned out like. And I absolutely love it. I still wear it to this day. I would say that was a little bit more of a coatigan or like a light jacket for that more transitional period. And I just think this jacket would be probably my best next step to something really warm and cozy and something a little bit more suitable for the deeper winter. Now, this next one is a really chic and versatile piece. It's called the Caladium Trench from Mood Society. And it has this lovely lapel that almost it folds over and it's very wide and it has a very curved shape, which I thought was just really, really unique. I love the fun colours that they've used on this and I love the length. And again, the waist belt is just beautiful. Again, cinching in where needed. I think with this pattern in particular, I think you could use a heavier weight fabric like a wool and it would still work really well because of the lapel. I also think jazzing it up with a fur lapel on top would be so amazing and something I'm very tempted to try but I thought this was a great great piece especially if you make it in a neutral colour I think it's great for any capsule wardrobe and because the lapel is so big I think it's one of those that you could really pull up up above your ears and keep really warm and snuggly. Now this next one is a designer piece from Patrick Kelly which I think is amazing um, this one I found on Pattern Vault and it is a one seam coatigan which has this lovely almost bat wing styled overcoat and I think actually depending on the fabric that you use for this it could be a really nice coatigan to see you into autumn winter but also if made in something a little bit thicker I think it would really work well for deep winters as well. What I do love about this pattern is just the really unique shape and the way it hangs. I just think it looks absolutely stunning and super chic, super elegant. And they've done it here in a plain black, which to be honest, I probably would want to do myself. Um, but this one is definitely on my list 
of things to make because it just looks fabulous. And when you know something looks amazing in a plain fabric, you know that is a sign of a good sewing pattern. Now this next one is just so whimsical. It's called the Calmia jacket and it just has this really beautiful fluted detail from the waist down, almost like a peplum detail, which just again gives it so much shape. I think sometimes with some jackets, things can look quite boxy and square and shapeless. And I think with this fluting detail, it just really creates a beautiful design detail, almost a little bit like a skirt. So an outfit within itself without having to take your jacket off. And again, the wide lapels around the neckline really do it for me. And I love how they've still included a waist belt because again, it just cinches that waist in even more and creates even more dramatic peplum detailing at the bottom. Again, I love the choice of fabric that I've used in the example here because I would never have gone with a floral, but actually it looks really, really nice. I would be really tempted to do it in a red wool, kind of like little red riding hood vibes, you know? Um, but yeah, I thought it would look really cute. And with some black fur detailing, I think that could look chef's kiss. So this next one is not a sewing pattern, but it has really brilliant instructions with schematic diagrams. And I love the simplicity of this. I mean, I think this could easily take maybe just a couple of hours tops. And it's this beautiful and elegant cape, which again, is so underrated and stylish and elegant and simple. Something to put over your shoulders if you want to have your arms free and you want a bit of ventilation especially when I go into London I don't want something suffocating I want something with a little bit of airflow and this is just perfection I love the bias binding detail that's on there and it has a really nice drape and has a very similar building style to a circle skirt where there's just a lot more fabric and a lot more drape and a lot of flair and I just think it's just super, super beautiful. I would be really tempted to hack it into having little slits for the arms to go through, because I think that could look really lovely as well. And actually that was something that my wish list to purchase. And actually, now that I've seen this one, I'm so gonna be making it, watch this space. So this next one is actually really unique and I just love this style. It's almost like a long line maxi blazer. So again, perfect for the autumn winter transition. I love how they've matched your trousers in this and I'm hoping that they also have those trousers somewhere on their side because it looks absolutely beautiful together. But again, beautiful tailoring and lots of darts, which means a really flattering shape. And again, love the collar detailing. And I just haven't seen anything like this. So I would be so wanting to make this. I mean, I've got quite a few on my list already to make, so this might be one that I need to postpone for another year, but I love this one. I think it looks just beautiful. I think this is a lovely one to even be able to play around with the length. You could even make this as a shorter jacket. You could make it just to cover your bottom because I do like my, my jackets to cover my bottom as well. But again, you could make it knee length, midi length, maxi length. Love it. Just love it. Now, this one is called the Mara Painter Coat, and it does look a little bit thinner because I've made it out of linen here, but I really think making this out of a flannel fabric, especially like a checkered one, oh, can you just think? I just get really shacket slash maxi coat vibes with this pattern, and I just think making a long line um, shacket from a flannel checked number would just be amazing. There are some really nice design details on this one with the pockets and the slit at the back and also the lovely collar. But again, you could make it into something a little bit thinner as well to keep you tied over into autumn winter. But I'm all for layering. I do like lots of thin layers because I just find temp temperature regulations just a lot easier. And especially here in the UK, our winters have become a lot more milder than they used to be. Um, usually by now the frost would have come in, big puffer jackets would have come out and I'm still wearing trench coats so yeah I'm all for layering and I think it also means you get a lot more wear out of it throughout the year as well. 
Now, this next one is another trench. It's called the Lita Trench. Now, what's really nice about this trench is that it has a very typical and classical trench style design, but it has this really nice raglan style sleeve and lovely big lapels and a lovely belt with a really interesting fastening actually, which I really, really like. Um, and I just don't think any wardrobe should be without a trench coat. So if you're looking for that really chic classic design, this in like a beige would be amazing. And actually to make this into a raincoat fabric also would be a good decision. Now, shackets are definitely up there on the trends for these last couple of years. And I see why I think they're really, really practical and comfortable and yeah, great for layering. So this one here is from the fabric store and it's this beautiful, and in their example, they've done it with denim, but I really think you could again do it with any sort of wool or flannel fabric. And what I like in particular about this pattern is just the top stitching. And I would say if you've not done top stitching before, this could actually be a really nice pattern. And also a good one to do if you want to challenge yourself a bit with interfacing and things like that. So I think this one's a really nice technical challenge and a really versatile piece to put in your wardrobe at the same time. Now, this is a bomber style jacket. And to be honest, I'm not quite sure that this is 100% my vibe. I'm just not cool enough to pull off a bomber jacket um but i think if you are one of those people those very lucky people that can pull off a bomber jacket this one just looks fab from the pictures i probably would size down just because me personally i would like a more fitted shape on this but i think this looks lovely and again really good staple and a piece that will be in your wardrobe for a very very long time now this last one's a bonus one, it's not an outerwear piece, but I think it's a brilliant staple to have in your wardrobe, and it's the plantain t-shirt. Now you can also get this in a long sleeve, and it has a lovely wide low neckline, which I think is just super flattering, definitely really flattering, so perfect for one of those tops to put under your really nice elegant dresses and you just want to keep it warm. I love the fact that it's not too fitted around the stomach area and there's a lot of room to move. But what I thought was a really interesting design detail on this were the elbow patches. I just thought that was a really beautiful touch and actually not sure if it goes particularly with this top. Obviously you can quite easily admit that, but especially for the large style that we have here, I think making a jacket with elbow patches would just be the dream. So that's definitely got my ideas going. So guys, I really hope you enjoyed this video. I will be doing a sewing plans video ready for winter and Christmas 2022, so keep your eyes peeled for that. Now, if you wanna watch some more of my free sewing pattern videos, I'll leave a playlist over here. And if you want to watch some of my sewing plans, my last one, I'll pop up here as well.